Okay, PSA order here, 24 cards. This was back when they were having the July special of $18, which is back now to $18. So these all went in, I wanna say I shipped them um, either the last day of July. Basically they got entered into PSA system or actually they arrived at PSA August 4th and they were entered not until the 30th of August and they were shipped back to me October 17th. I just received them today, the 20th of October. So about a little over 60 days, not business days, just actual days. So not too bad turnaround time there. Let's see if I can manage to get this out. All right, we have one box. And we got another box hidden in here. And I have not seen these. There we go. There's not too much in that second box. I have not seen the grades. I did not look at them. This is completely blind reveal. I'm just making sure there's nothing else hidden inside this packaging. Okay, so we have two boxes. I'm not quite sure which way they're going. So they're gonna be going that way. Hopefully these are in order still. All right, so the front is to the left. And we have a Michael Pittman there. All basketball and baseball in this order. Did I say basketball? Baseball and football. <laughs> Don't know what the heck that was about. All baseball and football as I hit everything. I apologize greatly for not being prepared. All right, so I don't think these are going to be in order. They certainly are not in order. Why don't they put them in order as you submit them? I'm not quite sure why they they don't do that. When I mean, they should. This camera got knocked. Let me get him. All right, we're back in business. So I'll get all these like Trey Lance Airborne. Which one is this? Out of 50? I think this is the blue. So the blue is numbered out of 50. What did I have on this? I have a nine. I originally bought this. I'll put the comps on the screen, what they're worth now. And I will let you know what I bought each one for. And each one was bought all over the place as far as. But I have this hitting a nine and let's see. I bought this. Where's blue out of 50 i bought this for 49 dollars <laughs> back with the hype of trey lance all right should i do the cover it's a pretty sweet looking card i have pretty much this entire set besides the one of one and it hit a 10. so i was expecting this to hit a nine and it actually plugged a 10. i had it off let's see what did i have i'll try to speed this up but i had minor dimple Top left center. I'm, I'm very OCD when it comes to cards, so um, what I'm saying is probably going to be under of what maybe it, it hits as. I want to get these kind of PC cards out of the way. You can kind of get an idea, you can see, of what all is transpiring here. What you're going to be. A lot of football. I think there's only. There's very little basketball. All right, I want to get these George Kittles out of the way and these other Trey Lance Airborns. And I think that was, no, there should be definitely more George Kittle. That is for sure. There's some more. This is, there's some more. Debo. These are stuck together. Nicole Hardman got a thick lab all right so we have four george kittles 
one, two, three, four. All right, that makes sense. And then three of the tray lance. And then we'll just kind of, I'll figure it out <laughs> in this back stack. All right, but let's get these out of the way because these are going to be probably the most boring for most. And then we'll get to some of the, the inter more interesting cards. Let's get these tray lance. No, let's, sorry. Let's get these George Kittles out of the way. So this, I'm not going to be able to tell from the back. I don't believe on which, what. This is a purple out of 149. This is all the hero sets. I've been trying to collect this entire set, uh, at least from what I could. I, had, I bought this at $8. I have this hitting a 9 or 10. And I have minor indent, top left border. Hmm. But it hit a 10. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> Whoever that minor indent was. Top left. Hmm. I screened a lot of these a long time ago, so they're not very fresh in my book. Of, But I do have some notes off to the side. All right. And this is going to be a blue out of 249. George Kiddo Heroes. This is the 2021. He's not in the 2022. He's only in 2020 prestige and 2021 this blue heroes i purchased for 14 dollars. i have getting a solid nine dimple on edge bottom center right hmm. don't see it with the slab and it did get a solid nine <laughs> actually so pretty accurate on that they must have saw something i saw Another George Kittle. This is going to be the green out of 199. I purchased this for 13 dollars, and I have this having a solid nine as well. Um, indent bottom left corner, weak bottom left corner. Okay. It hit a 10, so kind of a toss up there. I don't. I didn't feel this was very well centered either. It's heading to the left more than the right, as you can see right there. But still managed to hit the 10. I think out of this order, I predicted six 10s, 15 9s, and one 8. So we'll see how that goes. And this is a red color matching out of 299 Heroes of George Kittle. This. I purchased for $21. I have this hitting a 10. Possible soft corners is what I had. So we'll see if they gave him soft corners. They possibly did, but we still hit the dime piece there of a 10. So doing pretty well, doing pretty well on that. Happy with, I think anyone would always be happy with 10s. All right, this is a purple airborne, and then the 99, I think, is the red. The red would probably be more just because it's color matching. So let's check out the purple. Rookies and Stars airborne. And I have this, I bought this at $55. Have this hit in either a 9 or 10. Minor dimple front left border above the rookie card shield. And I don't see it. Hard to see with once they're in a slab. And this received a 10. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Numbered out of 35. That's a nice, nice hit. This is the red. And this was purchased for $39. Have this hit in 9 or 10. And surface hitting above first R. So maybe. Down on the airborne, I'm guessing. I'm gonna guess. And that's all I maybe saw, it hit a 10. Nice. So I think we are doing more than expected because we're already at six tens. So, and we got the one nine over here. So let's get into the goods. I mean, I guess we can just start it off with Nicole Harmon. We'll see, this is an RPA 2019 Phoenix out of 25 of obviously McCall Hardman Jr. I'm trying to find on my sheet to the right of me, to the right of me, to the right of everything that you're looking at on how I did with my pre-screen. There it is. 
I bought this car for ten dollars. I have it getting a ten. Um, the card might jam. Let's see, clean edges, but would could still be damaged. All right, let's see. It hit a nine. The frost is still <laughs> condensation still going on there, but uh, nice looking card nonetheless. This was a yellow and two color RPA there. Obviously the sticker auto, unfortunately, but I figured I'd send this in with, you know, the receivers with uh, Patty Mahomes trying to figure their new surroundings out. Um, I'm interested on this. This is the one I think I have an eight on. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do it. A Debo, let's see if I can find this. Debo, 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 where are you? Yes, this is a Chronicle score. So 2019 out of 50, it's a gold zone. And I bought this for $70. I have this hitting an eight or a nine. I hope this can hit a nine. Scratches on front, top right, there's a big solid scratch and a touch off center to the right I have on my notes. It is numbered out of 49 out of 50. Kind of a nice little nod to the 49ers there. So this guy hit a eight. So as expected, this scratch, you can see it right there, right above my finger. It's a nice little scratch right there. And I just wanted to get this slabbed. I thought it was a neat looking card. Uh, score, normally you don't have them, a rookie card, a rookie in there. But this is Chronicles, so it's not a very popular. Uh, it makes more sense, Chronicles, now that I think about it. Him being in his pro uni instead of the college uni. But a nice card nonetheless. Not quite sure whether I'll keep this guy or not, but I figured that was going to be an eight, and I was crossing my fingers on the nine there. So, all right, we have a Jalen Waddle. This is, I believe, just an orange reactive from i guess you could say last year's but it's really this year <laughs> mosaic football um let's see i bought this for eight dollars i have it gemming out of ten and i say back horizontal print lines above helmet back off center to the left i guess but i just have everything about the back so let's see what she did and hit a nine unfortunately so there must have been more than I missed. And there's, of course, condensation on this card. But nonetheless, a color matching orange reactive Jalen Waddle, who's doing pretty well again this year, I believe. Let's see, we have a Trey Lance. Trying to maybe order some of these a little bit better. DJ Moore. Let's see. Where get these Cortland Suttons together. Debo bases, some Cole Hardman, and Michael Pittman. We'll go, we'll go like, I'm not quite sure what the best card really is. We'll just kind of go like this, I suppose. I'm trying to figure out a process here. This video is already way more lengthy. I need to speed it up than I initially anticipated. Let's get some baseball out of the way. Juan Soto, he is in the playoffs this year, obviously with the Padres who took out the Los Angeles Dodgers, who we all adore, not so much being a Giants fan. This is a stadium club. Um, See a crystal ball. It's a gold out of 50. Juan Soto. So this was last year, 2021. And I paid $40. I had this hitting a 9 to 10 possible edge wears. What I have, and this hit a 9. So I'll probably be getting rid of this card. But I figured I'd throw it in for the submission. Kind of as a filler. This is a very popular set. The man set, 
And this is 1998 Topps Finest Scott Rowland, the man set out of 500. So I paid. It says paid $60, but I don't think I paid $60. Maybe that was the going raw price. I got this out of a value box, no more than $5. And let's see, what do I have on this? Off center back, back top right corner, little whitenings there. So. We'll see if it dock, they docked it. Got a nine. So, not too bad. At least it's not an eight. This will be desirable for someone who needs this in their set, for sure. It is a very de desirable set, so. Nine on that guy. And a 2020 Donruss, just paper. I think this is a bronze. I want to say auto Michael Pittman Jr. Let me see if I can find this. Bought it for thirty dollars. Have this getting a solid nine. Um, Nick's indents front to right of helmet shoulder pad area on border. Definitely hit the nine on that. Condensation is coming through, which was expected on that card for sure. This is a 2020 mosaic. I think this is just the base rookie scripts. I want to say bought this for $15. I have this actually gemming, but mosaic is very difficult to gem. So it, pro it, it gemmed. Well, there we go. That's good to see. So I was pretty pretty well accurate with that. It's a good looking card. So that will go off to the 10 pile. All right, we have a couple base Debo Samuels 2019 Prism football. This gemmed. Hit a 10. Of course we have condensation. <laughs> it's the common theme. And this guy gemmed as well. Let's see what I had on those. I had $10, paid $10 each. I had one for sure gemming, and the other was a toss up between nine and 10. So glad both of those gemmed out. $10 into, I'm sure those are probably still at least between 50 and 100 in a. PSA 10 right now. Cortland Sutton, 2018 rookie. Let's see. Not quite sure whether this is. I have obviously. Okay, so this is the green Pulsar Auto. And this I paid $38 for. I have rough back bottom right corner. And this hit a nine. And I'm not sure if the off centering on the front here. 2018 is really weird. I don't think they're, the margins are meant to be similar in width. I can't remember on this, but regardless, that had a nine. And this is a blue laser, I believe, that I bought for $5. I have hitting this hitting a nine as well. Simple front right, ugly knee error. Yes, let's hit it. A nine, it's a laser prism. 2018 DJ Moore. I have this between a nine and 10. I bought this for $22. This is an auto. Centering, I have a question mark, small white corner. Back bottom right, a little whitening down there on that bottom corner. And this hit a nine. Good looking card, fortunately hit the nine. Might have been a little bit more than I seen. This is a, I believe just base Jamar Chase that looked pretty clean. Bought this for $10. Have this between 9 10 horizontal print line top edge is what I have and it jammed out. 
So I guess they were okay with that print line that I once saw before putting this slab. Once this slab hits, it's hard to see some of those print lines and very subtle scratches, but glad to hit that in a 10. I figured when I first saw that, that looked like it would gem out. Uh, I love this card. It's a camo out of 15. This year's 2021 Prism or last, however you want to say it. We all know football and basketball came out late this year, past year, however you want to say it. Uh, out of 15, I paid $55. And I have this hitting a 9 or 10. Minor scratches, top, middle. Forest camo is the parallel. And this hit a 9. Kind of unfortunate. Was hoping for a possible 10 on this. But you can't win them all. Something got... stuck in there too. You see it right there. It's inside the case and I'm pretty sure that was not there. How do they do that? Quality control is just it's kind of unfortunate situation there. And the final card to wrap up this video, a Trey Lance. I believe this is just the green parallel I bought for $49. I actually have this hitting a nine, lint stuck to top layer. <laughs> Horizontal print lines above knee, scratch to the left of tray. It looks pretty good, but it's definitely a little bit off. This probably hit a nine for sure, and it did. So I was a little bit lenient there on getting that in there, but all in all, I feel like I did as expected, maybe a little bit better on some of the grades. So we have four, eight, so we hit 10 tens. So almost 50% on the gem rate, but I was expecting actually less. So I'm happy with, with that, honestly. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Nice little line reveal from PSA. And uh, we'll get a few of these more up soon as possible. We'll get some more submissions going. Fun times. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, take care.